Hey, welcome back guys to Mark Customs Garage. Uh, today, as you see, we have a special guest. This is my 2014 Toyota Tundra. Um, as you see, it says it itself. <laughs> um, so check it out, man. Just yesterday, uh, I was at work and a buddy of mine, he owns a Tundra, Tundra as well. And um, he had his catalytic converter stolen in broad daylight by some idiots uh, that don't have jobs and probably are crackheads. But anyways, uh, long story short, I, I shared his frustration and you know what, and also had a little bit set of fear in my belly as well that uh, we needed to go ahead and make a catalytic converter shield to cover uh, the cats from being stolen in the future. So I'm going to make myself one and I'm going to go ahead and make him one as well. And we might even give it a little nice uh, my customs touch to it, all right? So stick around and uh, let's get to it. All right, guys. So first, we're going to go ahead and crawl up underneath the truck and hit up some measurements, come back to the board and uh, sketch it all out. And then once we're done with this, we're going to mock it up to the uh, underbelly of the uh, pickup truck here. And once we got all those measurements confirmed and the, the stencil uh, confirmed, we're going to transfer it into Fusion 360, um, which is the CAD program, and we're going to cut it out on the table. All right, let's get to it. Alright guys, check it out. The time has come. We are about to make the official uh, skid plate for the Tundra. Right now. Um, but before we begin, I just want to comment and mention uh, that th this process is not a flawless process. Like, you will mess up and when you mess up, you gotta just go back to the drawing board and that's what I had to do. Um, I had to go back and uh, had to cut the original um, prototype that we did make and I um, also had to make some adjustments. Let me just put it that way, long story short. So um, I've made those adjustments. Um, I've got it to where um, I'm not tucking the edge of the plate all the way into the frame rails, but it's sitting about an inch up into the frame rails so it's gonna give a nice nice look it's gonna follow the contours of the frame rail let's get to it and you'll also see a design change that I did on here as well oh and one thing with aluminum it tends to um, float in the air if your water table isn't full um, so I'm going to turn on the fume extractor and I also if, it, if I start seeing some uh, floaters <laughs> I'm going to put on my respirator uh, just for uh, more safety. Alright? Let's do it.
happened, y'all? Oh my god! My first prototype! Here, in Mark Customs Garage! What a way to start the year! We have our first prototype! That is freaking awesome! Awesome! Dang! Oh my god! This is cool! <laughs> okay, that was awesome. I just had to uh, open up my garages and turn on the fans. Uh, even though the fume extractor does work, um, you know, it's not going to cover this whole table. But, you know, uh, anyhow. How was that? That was exciting. I don't, I don't care how many times I cut on this thing, which hasn't been much, but when you are literally covering the whole square footage of this table, you're like crossing your fingers that you, you know, you did everything right in the settings, everything. Um, this is really cool. Um, I'm gonna take this off the table real quick and take it over there to the uh, other table and show you guys some uh, design changes that I did. Man, guys, check that out. Check it out, y'all. So I changed the design up here because a buddy of mine has a Toyota Tundra as well, and he had to cut out his cross member. So um, I had to go ahead and make this relief cut so this will drop down and you can bolt it to his, uh, his cross member on his uh, lift kit. So also, for those who do not have uh, the cross members cut out in your Toyota Tundras, um, this one will actually slide between the uh, original cross member and the aftermarket cross member. So you have options with this particular skid plate that um, we made. And as you see, we got some funny looking contours here. Well, that's because when this is angled up just slightly, not a lot, not a full 90, but when it's angled up slightly, it's gonna tuck inside of your frame rail. As you see right here, I made square peg holes. Specifically, because I wanted to install this right here. This is a carriage bolt. So, the reason I installed a carriage bolt, not a security bolt, well, because, you know, those who go off-road, like myself, um, you know, if you're scraping against rocks and whatnot, you don't really want um, to mess up your bolts and you don't want to get dirt and grime all up in your damn uh, security bolt, you know? It just kind of defeats the purpose a little bit if you think about it. Um, so yeah, let me, let me show you guys how that, let's see how the fitting is on that. Yeah, just like that. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get this slag knocked off the back of this plate, and we're gonna go ahead and make a little slight bend and get it on the Tundra, fit it up, and see what she looks like. So if any of you guys out there watching this video um, could maybe give me a pointer on uh, how to get no slag, that would be awesome. Um, this isn't horrible slag, but if I were to uh, kick these out in production, and let's just say I had 25 orders, <laughs> this would get tired some very, very quick. All right, so um, any guys out there, please uh, fill me in uh, with your knowledge. Uh, I had the uh, plasma cutter at 45 amps, and I also had um, the feed rate at 80. Uh, the speed was 80. Um, so yeah, let me know in the comments. I would much appreciate it.
very last bend on this prototype and uh, let's see how it turns out. I think that's as close to a 90 as we're gonna get. All right, this is it. About ready to install this bad boy. I went ahead and cleaned up the underside of the uh, undercarriage uh, just for presentation and you know, the gram, <laughs> as they say. <laughs> Let's do it. Let me share with you some things that I've learned on this build. Um, number one was it's never too late to learn a new skill. Um, I haven't picked up a computer in over 15 years, a laptop or anything. You know, I've worked with my hands all day, every day, and yeah, so it's never too late to learn a new skill. And I've been pushing myself at learning Fusion 360. Um, I've been joining forums or, or online or going, getting on Facebook and joining groups and learning from people that are doing this. So yeah, you can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. Number two is uh, all cross measurements are very important. Um, I'm a collision repair technician, like I said before. Um, I do cross measurements every day. And for some reason, I did not do it on this build, but I'm going to do that in the future and save a little bit of time and materials <laughs> on prototypes. So, uh, the third thing I learned was I need a box and pan break in this shop. Uh, like now, I need one right now. Um, I've been looking on you know, Facebook Market and I've been looking on other classified slides and uh, I just haven't found the one I'm looking for, but there is a company I'm gonna reach out to. Um, I won't say their name, but uh, I'm gonna reach out to a company and see if they are willing to work with me and uh, uh, we can work a deal out. So, so yeah, that's the plans for the future. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I mean, this is the first project, the first Build that we've done this year, 2022, and we made it do what it do. Like I said, we was didn't that say we was gonna do it? <laughs> Tell me what you guys think about you know this build. I mean, what else would you like to see? Uh, I'm gonna do some more things on the Tundra very soon. I'm gonna make some more plates, uh, skid plates for the under underside, and uh, yeah, so. I really hope it freaking warms up very, very soon because it is miserable working in a garage with 
little heat. I mean, my heater's been acting up recently, so I've been freezing my butt off in here. Well, that's gonna do it for today's video. I really do appreciate you guys coming to hang out with me here at Mark Customs Garage. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Come check out more of my videos this year. Uh, we've got more cool, kick-ass content coming your way, so look out for the next video, all right? Till next time, stay humble, plus a harder, peace.